Hello, grade 10s. In this lesson, we will go through compound interest. Interest is the price paid for using someone else's money or the price paid to you for investing your money with an institution like a bank. Interest is calculated as a percentage based on the amount borrowed or invested. Compound interest is calculated on the original amount plus any interest already earned. In short, with compound interest, the interest also earns interest. We are now going to look at how compound interest is calculated. The compound interest formula is A is equals to P times open brackets 1 plus I close brackets to the power of N. A is for the accumulated amount on the investment after a period of time. P is for the principal or starting value of the investment. N is for the time over which the interest is calculated and I is for the interest rate which must always be substituted into the formula as a decimal. Let us try an example of calculating the accumulated amount using the compound interest formula. Michelle's grandma deposits 15,000 Rand into a banking account for Michelle on her 8th birthday. Her money earns compound interest of 14,4% per annum. How much money will Michelle receive from her grandma on her 21st birthday? Always start by writing down the formula and listing the information you've been given. It is important to remember the compound interest formula is to the power of n, whereas with the simple interest formula, we multiply by the value of n. The formula is A is equals to P times open brackets 1 plus I close brackets to the power of n. We don't know the value of A. The principal or starting amount is 15,000. The interest rate is 14,4%. To change this to a decimal, divide it by 100 and it will be 0, 0,144. We haven't been given a value for N, but we know that the money was invested from Michelle's 8th birthday to her 21st birthday. Why don't you try working out N and then solve for A? From Michelle's 8th birthday to her 21st is 13 years, so N is 13. Using the formula, we see that A equals 15,000 times open brackets 1 plus 0, 0,144 close brackets to the power of 13. This gives us an answer of 86,224,2. 8009. This means that Michelle's grandma will be able to give her a gift of 86,244 rand and 28 cents. Wow, grandma, thanks. Let's have a look at some more examples using the compound interest formula. Four years ago, Marco took out a home loan to buy a house. The current value of the loan is 800,000 Rand. The bank charged him 18% interest per annum, compounded annually. What was the original loan amount? A is 800,000. We don't know the value of P. I is equal to 18 divided by 100, which is 0, 0,18 and N is 4. Take a moment to see if you can do the rest by yourself. 800,000 equals P, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,18, close brackets, to the power of 4. We isolate P and get P is equal to 800,000 divided by open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,18, close brackets, to the power of 4. This gives us an answer of 4,000,000.
412,631,101. This means that Marco's original home loan was for 412,631 rand and 10 cents. The bank almost doubled their money. We can also use a formula to get the value of P directly. We do this by rearranging the formula for compound interest. Let's look at the rearrangement. We divide both sides of the equation by the bracket to get P on its own. Then we bring the bracket to the top and by doing this, the power of N changes to negative N. This means that P equals A times open brackets 1 plus I close brackets to the power of negative N. Using this formula will save you time in a test or examination. Let's try an example where we need to calculate the interest using the compound interest formula. 4,250 Rand is invested into a savings account for six years and grows to 14,740 Rand. Determine the interest rate if the interest is compounded annually. A is equal to 14,000 740. P is equal to 4,250. We don't know the value of I yet. And N is equal to 6. This gives us 14,740 equals 4,250 times open brackets 1 plus I close brackets to the power of 6. We divide both sides of the equation by 4,250. Then find the root of 6 on both sides of the equation. And lastly, subtract 1 from both sides. By using a calculator, we find that I equals 0, 0,2303200 to change this to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and round to two decimal places. This gives us an answer of 23,03%. We have now used the compound interest formula to calculate the values for A, P and I. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Finance and Growth Task video. You can also find more resources at our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Keep practicing and the good grades will come pounding at your door.